Is there any sense here that there is any sort of meaningful re-entry into the market, into U.S. equity markets? Well, uh, I mean, look, I think that there's been attempts to do that uh, multiple times this year. I mean, that's kind of what bear markets are all about, right? They they stuck you in uh, probably at the wrong time. Uh, they you know, they whip you around from sector to sector. And just when you think you got it figured out, there's another trick for you. So really, we don't think that this bear market is over yet, uh, mainly because our forecast for next year on earnings is materially below the street. Now, I know that's becoming a bit of a consensus view, but I think our forecasts are even below, uh, you know, kind of this new level that people are talking about. So we're at $195 for S&P earnings next year with a downward bias. And it could get worse than that. Right. And this that we've really been talking about, Romain, is this idea around operating leverage, how it's now working against companies, that inflation coming down is actually good for bonds and good for yields to come down, but it's not good for profits mm -hmm. because it squeezes margins. At, a, at 195, though, I, I mean, I'm just doing the quick back of the envelope math. I mean, where does that take valuations from where we are today? I would assume there still has to be a pretty significant drop that would actually bring us down to something commensurate with $195. Well, that's exactly right. So, at, you know, at, at 3,500, when we made that tactical bullish call, you know, it was kind of, okay, we're getting closer. It's, it's a decent level to be taking a swing here. But now back close to 4,000, you know, we're talking about 20 times earnings again. And that's just the wrong price. Uh, even if the Fed pauses, you know, rate hikes, you know, rate levels are much higher than where they were, you know, a year or two ago. So you, it's really difficult to argue for 20 times being the right multiple. What is the right multiple? It's probably closer to something like 16 times. And that's why we think we can make new lows sometime in the first half of next year.